Good morning and welcome to another day in the life of a blacksmith's wife. Uh, today, as you can see, we are still in Ohio and we are still wrapping up on the packing. So we still have uh, about another moving truck full of things to uh, pack up and get ready to go. And one of those things is going to be some blacksmithing coal. Roy has made kind of a um, coal bunk near his shop. And uh, before he's purchased about a ton or two at a time and then just had it filled uh, put it in this big pile over here and so we have to get that bagged up and ready to move and uh, we've already started that process yesterday but I'm gonna keep working at that today you can see it back there and uh, Roy is currently teaching a blacksmithing class so I'm gonna see how much I can get done today towards the move and that's what this video is gonna be all about so thanks for joining me Well, I think I got about as much done here as I can. In total, uh, I filled about 14 bags, and if those bags are approximately 50 pounds, uh, then that's 700 pounds roughly of coal I was able to uh, get shoveled up. I don't know, that might be an estimate, it might be a little lower. But um, as you can see, I still got a little bit here that uh, still needs to be bagged, so we'll have to find a few more bags and finish just a, up a little bit more cleanup. Um, but yeah, that's been pretty productive for today. I got out earlier this morning than I did yesterday when we started this process. So it's a bit cooler part of the day, which has been nice, especially with these hot, muggy Ohio days. So um, I'm gonna give you a little tour of Roy's shop and you guys can see the stage that it's currently at. All right, so here's Roy's shop at its current stage. Uh, the last moving truck we came and got, we got most of everything out of here. So there's just a few um, remaining things still in here, um, mainly Roy's press, but also his cart there. We ran out of space to put that on. Um, so yeah, this is the shop currently, and a few racks still up there, hooks. Um, but yeah, it looks really bare, doesn't it? Uh, you guys are used to seeing the shop full of his tools, and um, it is really empty. And uh, it's almost, it's kind of sad because, you know, he's had this space for quite a few years and he got it set up really well for everything he was doing. Um, but now you see this and I'm going to go ahead and give you one last look at Roy's uh, very first shop and we'll go take a peek at that also. All right, I'm on the back porch now. This is kind of where we did a lot of our shipping and kind of storage of extra supplies and woodworking tools and stuff like that. So I'm gonna come through here and try to start getting stuff off the walls. We have some brackets back there that have to come down and I would try to organize and um, maybe do some packing back here today. So that's what we're gonna do next. So let's start that time lapse.
All right, so this is the point I am at. I have all my lumber stacked up over here and just the fuzz back there in the corner still. Uh, my shelves, I got those down and then there's another set of shelves here. Those are all cleared off. And yeah, so pretty much I'm happy with my progress. Uh, I'm gonna be getting dinner ready and I will probably also today be working on pulling up some uh, patio bricks that are outside the door here. But I, I'm gonna call it good for this video and thank you for joining me. Make sure you check out another the other videos we have, A Day in the Life of a Blacksmith's Wife, if you liked it. And uh, have a great day. We'll catch up soon. Bye-bye.